today we are going to do the old wives tales to predict the gender of our baby which we'll find out in six days are you excited it's very bitter because some people gonna find out tomorrow yeah holly shouldn't get to know what my baby is before i do how they're works. both grounded anyways so these are not scientifically proven they probably mean nothing but they're fun to do she says eating cabbage like a gross woman okay we'll start with the ring test I'm gonna lay down on the couch and we're gonna get my ring, my wedding ring. Come here. And we're gonna put it on a piece of hair. And we're gonna dangle it over my belly and see what happens. Okay. I'll... Go, I'm gonna remove my hair. I wanted to pick one. I want this I want this one's. Okay. You say your wedding ring, so you Okay, so we have my wedding ring here. We're gonna throw it on the floor. What are you? Are you holding it still? Yeah, you just hold it above your tummy. It looks like it's going in circles. Kind. Okay, hang on. Let me just. Okay. So you gotta drag it around the tummy a little bit, and you just hold it up there. You can't move it. You have to hold it in one spot. That's definitely circling. circling. Okay, so that's circles. Things in the circles, it's a boy, and back and forth, it's a girl. <gasps> that's a vote for boy. We have one for boy. Yes. Okay. I want a boy. <laughs> now we're gonna do the Chinese calendar test. So this is based off the lunar age, the day of conception. So I was 24, and I conceived in August. So that's this girl. So we have one point for girl and one point for boy. Dry hands and cold feet. Have my feet been extra cold? No. My feet, my hands haven't been dry. I feel like my feet have been cold though. I, not that I've noticed. My feet have been cold. <laughs> Counts. Okay, well, if those aren't true, then that means girl. All right, so that's two girl, one boy. The next one is morning sickness. They say if you a queasy stomach and are stricken with really bad morning sickness, it's a girl. If your morning sickness isn't so bad, they say boy. So has your morning sickness been bad well, or? It went just... away, but I think it's based on when you had it. Do you think it was bad? Um, I was in bed most of the time. I say it was probably bad. I don't know. I didn't throw up, but I felt awful all day long. Okay, we'll say girl. Okay. Here's the next one. The baking soda pee test. I had to pee in a cup. Add a little baking soda into a clear container, then add the same amount of urine to the top. Gross. If it fizzles, it's a boy. If it doesn't, it's a girl. Okay, we have clear cups I bought. I did not want to use our glass cups because that's gross. Here's my baking soda. I don't think I have enough. There's our baking soda. Now I have to go get my pee. Are we ready? I drink plenty of water, it's just more concentrated looking. Okay. It's fizzy. No. Well, now it died. Uh, it also, don't smell it. It is not fizzling, so it's a girl. Yeah, it's pretty much dead. And okay, now we're doing the cabbage. So I boiled some red cabbage. It made this beautiful purple water. And I put some in this cup and it's gonna, and it is room temperature. I think I need to pour a little out. Cabbage test, you have just cabbage water and then you pour your urine in it. And if it doesn't change color, then it's a girl. If it changes pink, pink I think. It's a boy. Is it changing? It doesn't really look like it's changing. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's not changing. Does it look like it's changing to you? Nope. <laughs> okay, how many is that? Alright, hang on. I just found another one called the hands test. Okay, Charles, show me your hands. Okay, so she showed me her hands, hands up, which according to this, palms up indicates girl, palms down says boy. It's 
So, also, what do you think it is, dear? According to this, moms are 71% accurate on guessing gender. I'm probably not, though. Also, I bet I have gained a little bit of weight, meaning it's a girl. <laughs> so a lot of these are going pretty overwhelmingly in favor of girl. So I'm going to call it right now. No, there's more. There's more? Yeah, I just have to remember. Well, good luck with that. I am calling it. It's a girl. We're having a baby girl. We're going to name it. I Let's thought you were see. getting the name. Another one is if my skin has been breaking out more than normal, it's a girl. What do you think? I feel like I have more zits than normal. I'm zooming in okay, on your nope. zit. Yeah, you've been breaking okay, out a little more. Another girl. Let's see, baby heartbeat. If it's above 140, it's a girl, and if it's below 140, it's a boy. And most of the time, it's usually above. So, another girl. Gonna be okay. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Another one is cravings. That one. You've been craving salty. Salty and sour, so that says boy. <gasps> <laughs> um, your age at conception added to the month of conception is an even number. So I was 24, and the month was. 11 because it was <gasps> November. So that's odd. It's 35. So, boy, what side I sleep on? What side do I normally sleep on? I think it's my left side usually. Yeah, you sleep on your left. That's his boy. Is my face rounder than normal? I don't think so. I don't know. No. Okay, um, that's his boy. Headaches. I have been having headaches, but I don't know if it's from pregnancy or just because I have headaches sometimes. If, that, if they're from pregnancy, that says also boy. Okay. This is going to be the last one. This is the one. I'm going to pick one at random. This is the final the final one. What do you think it is? I think it's probably a girl. <laughs> okay, here we go. Have you had any dreams about the baby? Yeah. What was it in your dream? A girl. Then it's a girl. Oh, wait, we didn't do the Mayan calendar one. We're not doing the Mayan yeah, calendar. Yeah, all those nope. are fun. The Mayans, that one also said girl. I can't remember what you had to do. The Mayans were wrong about 2012. I don't they were care. wrong about it's, the baby. All of these are probably wrong. It's probably a boy. All right. Well, we are going to go before Chelsea eats all of that nasty cabbage. So you are just so gross. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching our video. Please comment down in the comments what you think our baby is going to be. And go ahead and give our video a share so other people can try to guess what our baby is going to be. And it's going to be great. And we'll have the gender reveal next week sometime. So. Goodbye. <laughs>